56 yarder. It's got the no, does not have the leg. And Chris Davis takes it to the back of the end zone. He'll run it out to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. There it goes, Davis. Oh, my God. Davis is going to run it all the way back. Auburn's going to win the football game. Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back guys to a special video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the intro. This is going to be a tour video of the completed Jordan Hare Stadium recreated in Minecraft. Shout out to Auburn TK, uh, one of my admins on my server, one of my longtime subscribers and moderators on Twitch for building this incredible thing. And if you are wondering what this is, this is Auburn's college football stadium in Auburn, Alabama. Um, and I gotta say, this stadium here makes the stadium that I built in Los Angeles look like a high school field. This is just incredible. I have 32 chunks rendered in right now, and I can still not even load the entire stadium in one chunk. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna have to do this tour without shaders so I could run max chunks for you guys so we can get as much of the stadium into, I guess, one shot as possible. So this is what we have here. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to manage to to screenshot this for like thumbnails and stuff like that because I mean look at this it it looks real it looks so lifelike it's the biggest stadium I've ever seen built in Minecraft and it's honestly the best stadium I've ever seen it's just so great so detailed it took him like six months to build this thing uh, we're going to get some more specific details on how long it took in a second we're going to go to the signs in the front but I want to just like start this video off with like just a huge perspective of this thing and I apologize if we get any glitchy glitches during the video where like chunks aren't loaded in properly it's just it's such a huge stadium I'm going to try to keep as much of it filled in as possible uh, at in what given time so let's go down here we're going to try to structure this tour as best I can because let's be real here this is such a massive build it's going to be really hard for me to organize this video so we cover everything on the inside so I'm going to be try I'm going to try to be um, you know as discreet as I can on everything and and make sure that I'm as quick as possible going through everything so we can cover the entire stadium here. So um, I got to find where these front signs are because I know they're around here somewhere. I think they might be on the other side of the stadium. So let's fly over here and see if we can find all of the information. I lost it. I just had it a second ago and I don't remember where it is. Um, I think it might be over here. No. Yeah, here it is. Okay. This is all the information we need. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Checklist. It's finished. We've been waiting a long time for this video. I've been really excited to show this off. Um, here's some of the comment boards. Some of the people telling how amazing this thing is. I mean, I gotta agree with all this stuff. Just incredible. Um, here is a aerial screenshot of the stadium with using maps. And... <laughs> it's incredible. I know it's a lot like of purples and pinks. Um, that's just the way the default texture pack made it look. So... Um, even though basically all of that purple and pink is um, is gray uh, on the actual build. And it's amazing how much detail is. You can even see like the SEC logos on the 25 yard lines. It's incredible. He even has the eyes of the tiger at the bottom. And you can see um, right there. That's our little spot. That's where we are standing right now. So again, we'll try to cover everything. It's going to take a long time. Uh, intro to stadium. Read before touring. Uh, put back when done. Okay, so we're definitely going to do that in a second. We have the VIP list. I think, uh, let me see if I can spot myself. There I am. Oh, I'm right at the top. All right, sweet. I'm a VIP. Um, let's take a look at some of the specs for this thing as well. So this is like dimension categories, Jordan Hare dimensions, Spectrum dimensions, and LD Stadium. So if you're wondering what Spectrum is, that is a previous arena that he built. It was a basketball arena. And um, LD Stadium is obviously Los Angeles Stadium inside of Los Angeles. So just gives you an idea of how much bigger this build is compared to what I said earlier. So um, this is uh, 511 blocks of length compared to just 200 for LD. The width is 483 compared to just 150. So you, as you can see, it's I'm having a hard time getting it into one junk. The build height, 126 blocks as opposed to just 53. <laughs> For, uh, for for Los Angeles Stadium. Look at how this this is the crazy thing. Estimated block coverage. I have no idea how he calculated this, but he came up with 31 million blocks. We just have to pause and think about that for a second. It took him 31 million blocks. That's just 1.6. 
for LD. Oh my gosh. It's just incredible. 29 million more blocks. I, I can't even fathom this. Like, this is just one of the most unbelievable grind of a build I've ever seen. At the top here, July 30th is when it started. Best viewed in city advance. We got that. Jordan Hare Stadium. Um, and then it ended on April 8th. So again, look how much time he spent on this, guys. Just a just an incredible dedication to such an amazing stadium. And I'm excited to kind of go through everything today. We're going to try to spread the word on this thing because it, it needs to be seen by all. It's in just in such an incredible build. Let's take a look at this uh, stadium intro here. I'm just going to read this real quick. Welcome to Jordan Hare Stadium, the eighth wonder of the world, as I like to call it. Before you tour, here's a few things you need to know. Uh, don't break or place blocks. Use the night vision effect. Um, I don't think we're going to do any of that stuff. Um, I'll probably just skip all this. Look out for secrets. Okay, I I'll probably look up for some secrets. Inspiration uh, is obviously Jordan Hare Stadium. He actually used some other... Uh, stadiums around the country as like outside inspiration which I think is kind of interesting so it's not an exact replica of Auburn Stadium but it's based off it heavily and it enjoyed the tour all right sweet so let me put that back like he said I should and let's get started with this tour so I'm just going to get uh through some of the outer areas before we get to the inner part of the stadium and like it's not even loaded right now it's how huge it is so right here this is kind of like the the tailgate area so um you know all the Auburn fans would come into this little forest here and do some pre-gaming that's kind of like a tradition for SEC football in general. Lots of schools down south do stuff like this. They just kind of chill out on the lawn before the game starts. It's uh, College football is massive in the southern parts of the United States. It is absolutely huge. Um, let's see. So we, we basically have a bunch of parking lots here. Obviously, there isn't a game going on right now as there is nobody in these parking lots. I'm wondering if these tunnels lead down to... Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. So these are like team buses. And then there's uh, some staircases. that Let's see where this leads. We zoom around this corner. This is probably like locker room space, and this comes right out onto the field. Okay, so everything's kind of interconnected really nicely. I'm just going to confirm to see if this is like locker rooms. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll be coming back in here later. Hey, look. The Alpine Mansion has made an appearance. Lovely. All right, so we'll fly back out. We'll uh, just, again, try to... I'm trying to structure this as best I can. It's it's a huge build, so it's going to be hard. Um, for reference, this right here was the LD Spectrum uh, that he was uh, comparing this thing to on those signs earlier. So let's go around this way and see what we got. So I love how he utilized the Auburn logo. And just because of the sheer scale of this build, he can really utilize logos like that really effectively because he doesn't have size as an, as an issue. You know what I mean? It's not like he has to consolidate the logo into a smaller size. He can actually just do it block by block and make it look like pixel art. And it looks amazing. So that's Auburn's logo, Auburn University. Again, in Alabama, big rivals to the Crimson Tide. Um, he, again, there's another Auburn logo on the ground built into the cobblestone. I love that. It kind of reminds me of the Alpine Mansion driveway. Another Auburn logo on the back of the huge scoreboard here and even says Tigers on top. That's their team mascot. Let's loop around over here. We have another tunnel. That's probably the visitor's tunnel. Or actually, well, I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, oh yeah, this is a cool thing that I wanted to mention. So Auburn has a tradition where when they win a big game, they toilet paper all of their trees on their campus. Kind of a weird tradition because it's like, why are you vandalizing your own property? But it's pretty famous, and they pretty much do it every single time they beat Alabama, which I'm pretty sure they did that this year. All right, so let's see. We got more parking lots over here. This is the Eye of the Tiger. And it uh, looks like we have some more signs over here as well. Are these the, is this the same signs that we were just at earlier, or is there signs on both sides? I think I think we're in the same spot. Never mind. But yeah, I love this right here. He's using the uh, the orange and blue for their official colors. But the, the Eyes of the Tiger is something that really catches my eye. I mean... No pun intended. <laughs> Look at that. That's so detailed and cool. And I'm pretty sure that's actually there on the actual stadium too. So that's awesome. All right. So let's see. I think we're pretty much ready to go inside. Um, again, I have no idea how I'm going to cover this whole thing. It is going to be something else. But let's just walk right in the front. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm going to set my speed to just one. Um, that way we don't have to worry about zooming around too much. So... Right when you walk inside, we have the big Tigers logo on the carpet. We have the Hall of Champions straight ahead. So this is going to be like their trophies and showcasing the history of the program. Uh, off here to the right, we have another huge opening space here. We got some ba uh, bathrooms there. I guess blue and, and red represents men's and women's. Uh, what's up here? So we just got like the second level. I like some of the detail that he used um, on the walls here with some of this glass. I think that's really interesting. Use even some water as well. 
Got some sitting areas over here. But, I mean, look at this, guys. The height of just this room here is, like, the same height as Los Angeles Stadium. I mean, that just put that into perspective here. So let's take a look at the Hall of Champions, and we'll go through some of this real quick. We'll look at some of these uh, signs here. Auburn, 21, Clemson, 17, and the 1998 Peach Bowl in the Georgia Dome. That's their title for that. So he's got all of the history of Auburn football here, which is cool. Uh, hopefully, oh, there's the kick six game. We used that in the intro. Hopefully that, um, well, actually, I, I can't say hopefully because it's definitely going to be there. The national championship game against Oregon is going to be in here, which is not going to make me happy as an Oregon fan. There it is right there. 2011 BCS national championship game in Phoenix. Auburn beat Oregon by three points. I'm still sad about that one. I'm not going to lie. I'm still sad. So over here we have what looks like a huge television like see this is the type of detail that really sets this apart look he's even got the little watermark on the bottom of the tv loading screen he's got his own auburn tk logo in there just incredible looks so sweet i absolutely love that so this is cool and then he even got the auburn logo kind of on the side of the ramp there pretty sweet so the hall of champions awesome awesome looks amazing i don't i can't say enough cool things about it to be honest guys a little bit of a lag spike here and there. So let's just kind of fly through this slowly. I'm not going to make like too many detailed comments on some of this stuff. I'm just going to kind of walk through and let you guys just kind of marvel in this. Um, we'll do kind of like a full loop around of this first level. And then we'll go up to the second floor. We'll kind of do the same thing as we go through. So here are some of the uh, staircases that can take you up. I'll just kind of show off this real quick. So you come up this thing. And I love these dividers in the middle. And this takes you up to the second level. Just awesome. Just awesome. All right, we'll go back down and continue running around the first level here. The stadium seat level. So here's just some of the um, food concessions that we have available. Papa's Patchies, or Papa Patchies, I should say. Um, so these are some references to Los Angeles, which is cool. Um, it's cool that he did that. Taylor Swift and his potions. All you guys probably recognize all this stuff from LD. He's got a uh, bedazzled bakery here. So he's got everything. Everything from LD. Another paw print for the Tigers. What's this one right here? Wetzel Pretzel? All right, we don't have that in LD. Uh, we got Baskin Robbins. And we have, I don't even, Wiener Schnitzel. I don't even know. I've never even heard of that. I don't, even, I, don't even, I don't think they have that where I live. All right, so let's keep on moving over here. Uh, we have, again, more staircases to connect up to upper levels. I like this little balcony here for what looks like a restaurant. You know what this is, guys? This is a Chili's on the balcony up here. That is sweet. <laughs> I love it. You climb up the staircase and you can do balcony chilies. Th that is just something else. All right, let's see here. Um, and I don't know if any of this stuff is actually in Jordan Hare Stadium. This could be just, you know, filler stuff. But regardless, it's still sweet. So we're halfway across now, guys. <laughs> That's how long it takes to get around this thing. Isn't it crazy? So we'll go through on this other side and go all the way around i think we're probably just going to skip the bathrooms and things like that um you know it's, it's just for the sake of time we have in and out burger i don't think they have those in auburn but this it's in this stadium we have rita's italian ice um popeyes i could probably recognize the uh, all the restaurants based on their logos we got flower pot coffee shop of course los angeles classic chain links clothing store who's buying clothing He's even got his little uh, derpy avatar face there. That's Auburn's skin. I don't know what this is right there. Doesn't have a, a logo or doesn't have a name on it. I wonder why you're buying clothing here in the stadium. So that's kind of comes out here. And then we have like a little bit of a different part. Uh, we got, looks like a, this is like a team shop in here. It's cool. And what's over here? What is this room? I'm not sure what this is. We just got some TVs in this space. Could be just part of that team shop, I imagine. And then we're finally making our way back over here. So uh, let's see if we can find an entrance <laughs> to this massive build. And we've made our way all the way back over to the Hall of Champions. So cool. So it's pretty much time for us to go up to the next level. Uh, well, first, I'm going to just check out like each bathroom real quick just to kind of give you guys an idea. I imagine most of the bathrooms are probably the same throughout the whole stadium. Got some glitchy, glitchy lighting in here. That's just on my end. That's not his fault and in here as well same bathroom so yeah that's the last we'll check out the bathrooms just one those are kind of insignificant for the scale of the build so we, for time purposes we're going to be skipping those for the rest of the tour all right so we're up to the next level here 
and we have tons of tons more restaurants and things i mean like this is incredible how much stuff we have nether leather clothing shop more flower pot coffee shops i think this is going to be a uh hattie b's hot chicken i've never heard of that either this must be like southern stuff that i'm not familiar with we have another restaurant here this is uh shooters bar and billiards it's pretty cool I guess nobody's coming here to watch the games. They're just coming here to hang out because there's so much things to do outside of just watching the football game, which is, you know, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I go to a football game, I'm trying to watch the football game. <laughs> In here, you can just do whatever you want. Uh, let's see, what is this space here? This is just a tunnel that leads out to the second deck. Okay, okay. Look at this, guys. We can barely even get the stadium loaded in. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right, let's go back around. We'll keep on swooping around. Uh, what do we want to check out next? First, we kind of go through these hallways. These little divider structures here. I wonder what these are meant to be. Um, like sitting areas or something? Or just like kind of decoration? I'm not sure. I'll have to ask them. Alright, so we're moving back over here. It looks like we have another huge hangout space. And what in the world is this? This is crazy. It's got like a spiral staircase. Um, is there a sign for this one? Yeah, right over here. What is, what is this going to be? Oh, I know what this is. This is the ESPN zone. He had one of these in the LD Spectrum. He did another one here. We got a spiral staircase going down to the lower level. We have some huge stadium seating in here for televisions, arcade games, the whole nine. A little dark under here, but I know it's probably tough to, to light the whole stadium. But this is so cool. A multi-leveled ESPN zone inside of Jordan Hare Stadium. Absolutely love it. Again, he had another one of those in his basketball arena. All right, so, oh my God, look at how much more we have to look at, guys. This is insane. We have the smoothie place, Jamba Juice maybe? I can't remember the name of that place. I, I might be wrong there. Chick-fil-A, I think that's pretty obvious. Uh, I don't know if I know this one. It looks familiar, but I don't know it off the top of my head. It starts with a C, obviously. I'm not sure, you're gonna have to remind me in the comments. Nike store. <laughs> we got Moe's. Uh, another flower pot coffee shop. What's this one? Uh, Slag's barbecue, so many barbecue places. We have, uh, oh, what is this? Um, this is something from Los Angeles, so I can't remember it. I just recently built this. Ah, uh, what is the name of this again? Oh, damn it, I can't even remember my own city. I built something like this recently. It was like, um, ah, oh, I can't, I, I'm actually really mad. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. What is the name of this? I built this in Los Angeles. Now I can't remember, and I'm, it's going to bother me for the rest of this tour. All right, you guys are going to have to remind me all the names of some of this stuff in the comments, because I can't remember. All right, so that's the end of this part of the stadium. So why don't we uh, go up the staircase here and get up to the next level. Like, my goodness, this is crazy, isn't it, guys? All right, so let's see what we got up here. Now, this, I believe, is like the VIP section of the stadium. So we're going to have, like, uh, you know, the fancy schmancy folks are going to be watching the game from up here. And then we even have an extra level. Bob Ross has got his own VIP Stoink. So these are a lot of my subscribers that are a part of my server. Toxic Piggy, you might recognize some of these names. Endermist, that's that's uh, Joseph Gritz, LeBron Shane. So yeah, a bunch of my my um, my subscribers and and uh, oh, there's mine. All right, let's go inside of mine. All right, let's see what I got in here. It's a little dark. We got the atmosphere. I got my own pool table. This is why he wanted us to use um, <laughs> night vision. It was tough to light this whole thing. But look at this view of the stadium that I have right here, guys. Unfortunately for me. I can't have the stadium loaded in. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to break my own rules here, break Auburn's rules. I'm going to fill in some of the f field here and see what my view actually does look like from my own personal suite. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. All right, so let's kind of fill everything in. We're going to fly back, jump into my suite, which uh, is right here. Oh, I'm excited for this. Look at this, guys. This, this is the view of the state. This is the view of the game. That's a pretty good view, if I do say so myself. My suite is kind of small, though, Auburn. Like, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like I got got the short end of the stick with this suite. I mean, look at this. Look at uh, look at Bobox's suite. It's all lit up and everything. He's got chandeliers. Why didn't I get any of this stuff? Did I? Wait, did he come in here and build this? In my, you know what? I'm gonna come in here one day and I'm gonna build. I'm gonna re, I'm gonna renovate my suite. I'm gonna build my own suite here in Jordan Hare Stadium. But again, guys, I don't have time to go through every single suite. Um, we have Don Patchy's suite here. This is uh, kind of similar to mine. But yeah, I don't have time to go through all of these. Um, it, it just I don't want this video to be two hours long. Um, 
Incredible detail, though. I mean, this can't be understated how much incredible detail has gone into this build. It's just unreal. All right, so let's go back down to the second level here. And let's loop around to the other side because we still have so much more we have to see. Um, we've done all of this. We, gone, we went all the way down to the end of this restaurant section. So let's loop back around this way and see if we missed anything on the other side. I might have missed a couple things um, before we kind of go up to the second level on the other side. So let's loop around. And after this, guys, we're going to go down on the field level. We're going to check out some of the locker rooms and things like that. And that should be covering 90% of the stadium. Again, if I miss anything, um, you know, I apologize. It, you got to give me a little credit here or a little uh, slack here because this is uh, it's just unbelievable how massive this build is. It's going to be tough to cover everything. Uh, so we have more restaurants over here. This is kind of where I started. Uh, I went that way. So we have some more things in here. What is this? Is it like Adidas? Yeah, this is Adidas. That's cool. That's very cool. I think Auburn wears Under Armour, so I don't think they would ever have an Adidas or a Nike store in their stadium, but that's okay. We have a bakery. We have McDonald's. We have another one of those. Uh, what is this right here? Sunny Lubick Steakhouse. Interesting. <laughs> the people that come to the stadium must be fat because they have a ton of of eating options like I, I I don't know if I'd ever be able to leave this stadium I could just live here this has got every food option in the history of the United States this is unbelievable all right so we're looping around this way and keep in mind that most of these tunnels and things that I'm passing are just staircases that connect from level to level and I got to give Auburn props for for creating that much connections between the builds so the, here we got a dead end this is kind of just a chilling area over there that, that's I bet you not many people have come all the way over this way that's probably a pretty nice place to hang out all right, let's see. I'm going to loop back around outside here and see if we can find access to uh, this side's upper deck, which I don't 100% know how to access. But another thing we can check out is is this level right here. So the way you would get to this one is you would come through these tunnels here, right? And we pretty much went through this whole floor, right? Come through this tunnel, and then you want to go up the stairs, and there's even more concessions up here and I imagine this might be like the cheaper concessions uh, in the stadium so if you're looking to pinch pennies when you're coming to Auburn's games this is probably where you're gonna eat so we have those and it looks like we have them on both sides as well one thing I want to mention about the stadium is the sponsors and stuff like that so he used logos from some of the restaurants on the scoreboards and stuff because of the sky the scale of this uh, stadium he can do stuff like that I love it and I can't remember the name of that place. I know it's in Los Angeles, but I can't remember it. I'm so mad. All right, let's take a look at this over here. So this is a side we really haven't covered too much. So we're going to wrap up the upper deck of the stadium by covering this part. So right here, this is all the announcers areas and the scoreboards. And this is where the games would be casted and stuff like that. So I'm excited to cover this part here. The problem is I don't even really know how to access it from the inside. So I'm going to kind of come in from the outside. Um, I guess there's elevators here. Let's see where these elevators take us to. If we go down these, I can fit through those little spots here. So it looks like, what is this? I, did, I, did I just like sneak into the inner workings of the stadium? Is this the secrets? Did I just find the secret areas? I think I might have. Uh-oh. I don't know if I should be here or not. This seems like seems like I'm out of place here. I, I, got, I broke out of the elevator shaft. Where do I go? I'm lost. All right, here. Let's sneak my way back in here. There we go. All right. Where are we? Where Where are we right now? We're in the the press box, <laughs> the upper deck, the press box. Uh, okay, I see how we get back down. We go down through these staircases. Okay, makes sense now. I, this is like the first time I've been through it, you know? Like, I, this is kind of like, I, I've been monitoring the progress of the stadium since it started. This is the first time I've really gone through the whole thing in detail. All right, this is cool. So let's go ahead and check out the press box. This is probably going to be my favorite part of the stadium. I love that stuff like this. So it's like... Hello everyone, I'm Chris Fowler, and I'm Kirk Herbstreet, and welcome to College Football Saturday. We have, uh, I guess these are some, like, important Auburn, uh, well, this is Vern Lundquist and Gary Danielson, so these are the SEC guys. Do, 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 It's a little jingle. No primetime game tonight. SEC on CBS. We got a ladder here. Is this, like, some sneaky spot? Is there actually just a ladder to get up to this? That's so funny. These guys have to climb a ladder to get up at the press box. This is where all the beat writers probably sit. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. All right, let's not waste too much more time. Let's briefly check out some of this. Wait, there's an upper deck? 
I didn't even know this. How do you even get up here? Oh my god, there's more stuff. I guess you would just take these staircases, yeah. Jeez Louise, this is such an insane build. I didn't even realize that there was another upper deck. This is the nosebleed seats if I've ever seen one. Imagine sitting up here in this corner. Honestly, still a pretty decent view of the field. One of the things I really struggled with when building my stadium was making sure that every single seat in the house had a good view of the field. And clearly Auburn has taken that into account as well because those seats up there do see probably about 70% of the field still. Look, these are the these are the uh, the real cameramen. This is the real grinders that sit up in this camera booth. The aerial views. This is where they got the kick six from. That view, incredible. All right, let's go back down to the lower level. We're gonna go onto the field. We're gonna reenact the kick six, or if we want to. No, we're not actually gonna do that. But you know, let's just say that uh, Chris Davis grabbed the ball from here and ran it 109 yards. And uh, yeah, Auburn beat Alabama in 2012. What a game. All right, let's see here. Um, well, actually, I think that was 20. 13. Well, regardless, I can't remember exactly what year, but it was a good, it was a great game. All right, so let's check out some of these locker rooms. So we briefly teased these at the beginning of the video. So this is this is the Auburn locker room. I love it. It's got this, the team colors. Everybody's hyped to play, um, and we got these pathways that connect from side to side, all the way around the whole entire stadium. Just incredible, incredible stuff. And let's go all the way down to the other side over here and take a look at the visitor side now i'm wondering if this might be the home team side you know it's possible that okay this is the home team side guys <laughs> the visitor locker room wasn't quite as detailed as this this is the home team locker room if i've ever seen one yeah 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 we got like the offensive coordinator defensive coordinators offices athletic director head coach gus malzahn Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so now we know which side is which in terms of the locker rooms. What's down here? This is way under. Okay, so this is the uh, the entrances for the team. Roger that. All right, so we're starting to make sense of all this. This is the stuff that I was looking for. All right, um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Which way do we want to go? Where does this take us? This sneaky pathway. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Authorized personnel only. Okay, okay, okay. So that's the coach's entrance. I had something similar in LD Stadium. So that's cool. So he, we're, I'm glad that at least I have an idea of how to build a stadium. You know, Auburn here, he's the king of stadium building. I mean, this is insane. Let's see what's on the other side of this. So we went down that hallway. Let's go down this hallway and see what's over here. We have a couple of elevators. Let's see where they go. Do they go down? Oh, oh, hold on. We have a basement, basement level. What the hell is this? Oh my God, the team facilities is in the basement? Holy crap, this is the Auburn's weight room. I had no idea this existed. I didn't even know. I probably would have skipped over this. I don't know if this counts as a secret or not, but holy moly, look at this. I was not expecting this. So well lit. It looks amazing. Wow. Yeah, I, I can definitely see the team being motivated to work down here. This is awesome. I like how he used the tire blocks as the, uh, the weights. That's cool. That's very cool. Wow, I did not expect that. That is awesome. The team facility weight room is underneath of the stadium. That is something that I didn't expect. That is really cool. All right, guys. I think we've covered everything that I want to cover for this tour. I mean, I feel really bad if I miss something, and especially something important. But I feel like I've covered 90% of the stadium, and that was my goal, to cover 90% of the stadium. By the way, I think the kick six is being played right here. Yeah, look, Davis. He's running it all the way back. All the Alabama guys are lagging behind this guy he <laughs> he's on the ground he fell over that's unfortunate but yeah guys i mean can't say enough guys can't say enough about this build just truly incredible stadium i mean one of the one of the coolest minecraft builds i've ever seen to build something of this scale this much dedication that had to go into this i got to give a shout out to auburn again auburn tk for for building this thing um so you guys got to show this video some support for him i mean write some nice comments for him you know, like the video, see if we can get as many eyes in front of this thing as possible because it, it, it's worth watching. It, it's just such an incredible build, such an incredible accomplishment for this game. I can't even fathom building a stadium this big. I was I was exhausted when I finished my stadium, and this one's like 30 times the size. Just unbelievable stuff. Can't say enough about it. I'm, I'm pretty much at a loss for words at this point, other than just saying it's incredible. But... Guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I tried to keep it as short as possible. I know it's still 30 minutes long, 
but I mean, let's be face it here. It's, it's hard to cover everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. Again, shout outs to Auburn for this incredible thing. Leave some comments for him, guys. Like the video, like I said. Give him as much support as possible, and you can do that by supporting this video. And uh, and guys, thank you so much for watching. It has been Dan Lags. I've been. It's been my privilege to tour this incredible build. And um, that's a that's it, guys. That's a wrap. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.